Welcome today to the Oakham Point webinar, and welcome especially to Ben Carmel, who is our featured speaker for today. I am Jenny Chaplin, and I am your webinar host for today. I'm the founder and principal of Sapphire Consulting Services. I've got quite an extensive background in product development and large pharma, and my expertise is primarily in program management and alliance management, as well as corporate operations. The webinars showcase startups and small businesses that are pioneering transformative solutions for in pharmaceutical and medical device development process. Well, thank yous all to our sponsors, Step Forward, Keliomics, and Clinical Research Strategies. Ben has 20 years of experience in life sciences. His background in, uh, is in leading global technology and consulting at Accenture, at Cubia, H1, and now, of course, at Slope. And he has a proven track record of driving sales, sales growth that are working to enhance clinical trial efficiency. Today's topic is one that we're constantly getting um, interest and inquiry about, um, solving what's not necessarily a new problem, but certainly a tricky one. Um, how can that confluence of people and process and data and technology come together um, to provide research sites with access to tools they so desperately need, um, and as a byproduct, create the data that sponsors or CROs or other stakeholders um, also desperately need uh, to advance their clinical outcomes and endpoints. A tremendous uh, burden to manage more and more trials that are increasingly complex, all while they have fewer resources than, than ever before. All turnover at research sites continues to be at, at all-time highs. And there's no standards, no consistency across CROs and sponsors. Um, the tools that have been provided to date are really ones that, that typically we see as one-offs per studies, uh, not something that sites can leverage across sponsors as they, they see fit. There are obviously some notable exceptions, um, but speaking in generalities, I think this really holds true. We're trying to collect more and more data, more and more pieces of metadata when these patients come in. So what tools are we providing to these under-resourced, overburdened sites to manage the volume and complexity of samples of trials that we're, we're, we're throwing at them? And the, the, the simple answer is, is, is paper, or maybe paper in Excel. Then we provide more detail to the sites related to sample management in, in lab manuals that they need to decipher and implement within the confines of their own site processes. Um, and more often than not, these protocols and lab manuals are being amended and pushed back out to the sites to operationalize all through paper and tracked on paper and email and other areas. All of this requires uh, repeat training that's performed by sponsors and CROs as they try to digest and understand these frequent changes. That is then overseen by sponsors and CROs and how sites are managed through visits, remote monitoring and data review, and all of these all of these uh, uh, ways that we're managing uh, uh, to the sites, everything that we're providing them is overly manual and error prone and require people resources that don't necessarily allow for proactive ways to manage the hurdles that, that, that we see on a daily basis um, at research sites. I'll give you a practical uh, example. Here. Pretty normal set of blood collections, uh, three different sample types flowing to a mix of labs, um, some direct, some indirect. But we've got two eight milliliter draws that look pretty similar. So what do we do? We provide some additional manual detail to call out what to do specifically for these uh, collections, including things like email, uh, which inevitably means a missed email that turns into a phone call and starts a vicious but uh, avoidable cycle on that front. Um, and all of these things kind of assume that the the site uh, coordinator is the same one doing different steps and that they can figure out um, where they are, who's picking up the sample, uh, when and where that's taking place, what type of container they're, they're putting it in. Both of these, these samples need to be inverted and both uh, sent in ambient shipments. You know, only one goes priority overnight to ICON. Uh, the other has to be centrifuge and goes priority overnight to Silcarta. Um, but we're, we're asking the site to be reminded via paper not to confuse the destinations for uh, a, a seemingly very similar uh, sample collection. A lot of these manual or paper-based processes really do uh, jeopardize our ability to uh, capture uh, biospecimen data, right? 
and it leads um, to wasted patient samples, unusable data, uh, missing data, um, and increased time and costs. Um, all of which obviously has an uh, adverse effect on our sites, on our trials, on our clinical teams, on our patients. Here at Slope, we are dedicated to solving these challenges by taking those tedious manual administrative processes around clinical supply and sample management and replacing them with uh, more automated, efficient, and repeatable processes that fit uh, squarely into site workflows. Um, providing an innovative approach that not only improves efficiency, uh, but also alleviates the workload of users. They can leverage um, not as one-off point solutions driven specifically by a sponsor, but can fit into their processes and, and workflows. Replacing the manual paper parts of the process with automation that takes uh, study documents and transforms them into digital software-guided workflows. Here is the, the slope system itself and provide uh, a very abbreviated walkthrough, uh, subjects coming in for a, a screening visit on the road so this information could be passed from another system. We can see the types of samples that are being collected. And then as a, as a coordinator or some, another member of the research site, each type of sample is going to have its own unique uh, collection uh, uh, requirements, uh, barcoding or scanning, uh, storage, uh, processing, and technology can be leveraged to, to surface that information in a very easy, user-friendly uh, manner. It's telling us which type of collection kit we need, giving us the exact instructions, how to barcode, how to, how to store. Um, at whatever level of detail, um, the sites or our sponsors feel is, is necessary. This could incorporate uh, pictures or images. Uh, kind of the next step in the process, patient has come in, site knows exactly what to do. Now we are guiding them through the next step here, which is around uh, uh, the shipping process. From same day ambient, one was same day uh, frozen. Those won't be allowed to travel together, which technology can um, enforce. Site user can add additional samples to uh, the shipment as necessary, as long as it's following the right uh, instructions and going to the right place. We tried to scan in um, that archival tumor sample. It is going to allow us to include a frozen uh, shipment with, with the ambient shipment. All of these things help the sites, help speed up their process, use software uh, to guide them through by digitizing a lot of the paper uh, into what we call software guided workflows or instructions. That tracking information can be stored directly in the system. The site has access to everything that's in that shipment along with the tracking. We know exactly where those shipments are at any, at any uh, given point in time. We're making data visible in real time or near real time to all of the various stakeholders, allowing us to really document and standardize and make sure that we are compliant, um, that we are, are, are providing information in a very clear, consumable, and standardized, standardized manner. We're ensuring standardized quality biospecimen data. We're seeing improved study outcomes and a reduction in patient burdens. So first and foremost, uh, SLOPE is a clinical trial execution platform that orchestrates the entire biospecimen lifecycle across all study stakeholders. So I mean sites, I mean labs, sponsors, CROs, on and on. And looking at it from uh, the lens of study planning and startup all the way through uh, data reconciliation and, and closeout. We're composed of uh, industry experts from across pharma and biotech, CROs, sites, other tech vendors and consultants that have really... The key is thinking about approaching sites as, 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 as partners, right, as collaborators in the process. The results have been, been truly amazing. We benefit from being able to exchange data with key solutions like EDCs and lab limb systems. So, um, we are vendor agnostic when it comes to integrations, but we also have key relationships across many of these systems, which enable us to leverage APIs or other file exchanges to expedite and automate the flow of information. University of Arizona, excuse me, experienced a 44% reduction in scheduled test deviations. Uh, this is one sponsor customer who used Slope to support inventory and sample management on their first ever study as they were seeking approval for a medical device that enables um, self-screening for cervical cancer. They were able to hit their enrollment target in 4.6 months rather than the expected six months. The, the time to change, the time to improve is, is now. The, the entire clinical ecosystem is bursting at the seams 
and can't keep up with the demands of today if we provide the right tools and the right technology to all of our partners. Thank everybody for their, their time today. Please feel free to contact me.